Quick out each time greeting and thank to all viewers who have come to 22 hours channel. We wish you a day full of energy and productive work. Today we will bring you the last big news about political and social situation continuously updated within the past 22 hours. Now, please join us. Dear audience, on Tuesday, after the flash flood, Montugu was cleared and the cleaning work of the staff in the community of Qudong Street continued. The outer wall of the residential area continued. Residents were hit by flash floods that left clear, waste high tracks. People on the first floor are busy drying furniture, clothes, blankets that are soggy across the door onto the vegetation outside the door to dry, and at the same time use a mop to wipe it again and again to eliminate the stench in the house. Home? Chaodong Street Community is located in Changsi Street, Mentugu District, Beijing, bordering the river to the south. This area covers an area of about 21,255 square meters, with a total of 14 buildings. Total 702 households, a population of 1,925 people, including 409 elderly people. Since 8 p.m. On Saturday, under the influence of Typhoon Du Suri, the Montugu district has suffered history of rare continuous heavy rain. This is the highest value in history since the record of the gas. Statue. Residents on the first floor were severely affected by the storm. Journalist Trin Kwan visited and discovered that most of the residents on the first floor of this area were older and moved out earlier. So how do these elderly people escape the storm when they face waste high flood waters pouring into their homes? Journalist Trin Kwan interviewed many elderly people on the spot and were told about their unforgettable experiences. On Sunday, netizens took pictures in the residential area of Qudong Street. On the second day after the heavy rain, at the home of 55-year-old Tan Chuan, clothes and household items were washed away. Mud and mud from the receding flood water were scattered all over the floor, the walls still showing obvious signs of soaking. Clear. Sun Chuan, who had rolled up his pants and walked barefoot on the floor, couldn't help but sigh when he saw the mess in the house. It was flooded then. Sun Chuan pointed to his window and frowned. The deep memory of the flash floods in the mountains and the many days of cleaning the household chores made Tun's wine unable to cheer up. At about 10 a.m. that day, Sun Chuan was resting on his bed at home in the residential area of Chodong Street in Mandi Oyugu in a state of shock, but he did not expect that the short half an hour later would become an experience. The most shocking experience of my life. I got a call from my wife, asking if I was flooded here. After listening to his wife, he stood up and went to the window near the road, looked at the roadside railing again, his eyes were surprised and panicked. In a moment the water spilled from the moat onto the street, and less than half an hour later the water had reached the window at the door of the house. It was more than a meter deep, Sun Chuan recalled. Montugu is the area with the highest proportion of mountainous areas in Beijing, the mountains cover 98.5% of the area. During this rainfall in the northeast-southwest direction of the mountain range in the area, the southeast wind is clearly perpendicular to the mountain range. Water vapor is influenced by topography. When heavy rainfall, heavy rain intensity meets sloping terrain, will immediately cause flooding on the street. Due to heavy rain, Mondokau flooded Vinden River. All 56 mountain streams flooded. Many roads such as National Highway 109 and Trianchu Street were flooded and divided. The surrounding main roads are all temporarily under control, and the deepest water depth is up to 0.5 meters. Near Trinquang time at the junction of Tanqiu and Qudong streets in Mentugu district, flood water from the mountain has already subsided. Submerge the bridge. Qudong Keat residential area is located downstream of Trinquang time. According to Tenchun's description, the water rose to the window, not only did not stop rising but also continued to overflow into the house, even the sioux in the house was overflowed. Sun Chuan looked at the water outside the house, which had already risen to the window, thinking that it would be safer to stay at home, but did not expect the water to rise so quickly. Before he could react, the water had already hit the waist high house. He pushed the door open to get out, but there was water outside so he couldn't push it, and the anti-theft window outside was tightly closed, so he couldn't even get out. Tan Chuan said. The bed was flooded, the water kept flooding into the house. At that time, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what the situation was. The four sides are water. 
The short half an hour made him feel like a century had passed. Then he was surprised to see the flood water rushing back quickly receded, leaving only mud everywhere. Regardless of the situation in the house at the time, he picked up his cell phone and pushed open the door with all his might, a moment that excited him. At that time, I felt good to be alive and I felt relieved. He waded through the mud wading out of the residential area, looking at the vehicles washed away by the flood lying scattered in the residential area. The scene before his eyes made him shocked but did not dare to stop. When I stepped outside, I didn't see a single person. Most of the people living in this community are elderly, Tan Chuan described. After leaving here, he went to the area of Shemending where his wife lived, because the terrain there was a bit higher so he didn't experience flooding. He told his wife about half an hour that shocked him. He confirmed that Qudong Street was temporarily out of danger and he and his sister returned home to start cleaning up the dirt. He is busy from noon to 11 p.m. cleaning the house, the house after the flood recedes filled with mud. After receiving insurance for his flood-damaged car, he breathed a sigh of relief, though he can't forget the experience, but he's optimistic. Property is worthless, as long as you're alive. At noon on Sunday, flash floods brought mud and mud spilled over the river and hit Qudong neighborhood. The 80-year-old mother-in-law told Bu Ong Yuyan over the phone that water suddenly flooded through the door, first flooding the legs of the bed, and about 10 minutes later, the entire bed. Yuang Nuyan, over 60 years old, said the water was an inch deep. Yuang Nuyan understood the old man's situation and immediately advised him to save his own life. At that time, the elderly and children in the house used shovels and wash basins to swat the water out of the house, but the water flow rate far exceeded the drainage speed. They put the furniture in the house on a higher place. Wang Yu unhurriedly drove from Champing District to Mentugu District. When coming to the exit of Huangsan Expressway, Buang Nguyen felt that the car was floating on the water like a motorboat, and it was difficult to control. Then, he thought to himself, Fortunately, I didn't go at that time, if I go, not only will I not be able to pick up the elderly, but I may also have an accident. Duong Nguyen said around 10 p.m., the water in the house had receded, the road was still covered with mud, my mother could not go out, so she had to eat some dry food in the house to satisfy her hunger. That night, when the flood water receded, Duong Nguyen could not come to her, tried to reassure her, but the two grandparents stayed up all night, worried that the flood water would come again. On the morning of the second day, he cleaned up the rubble in the house. After two days of continuous work, the floor in the room was shining like new, but his task was not finished. Furniture such as beds, sofas, cabinets decay must be removed, dredged up the mud inside. On the day of the flash flood, Chu Kuang, in his 60s, drove out with his son. When he returned, it was about 11 o'clock. The river water had flooded to the gate of the residential area. Soon the flood came door. Chu Kuang tried to push the car door but to no avail. He quickly pressed the car window and got out of the window. At this time, the water was waist high. Seeing that people's houses on the first floor were flooded, he was uneasy because his house was on the first floor. He did not have time to think much, although the water level was very deep, but he really wanted to go home, where his niece just turned one and 11-year-old grandson. Chu Kuang's house has two gates, one south gate and one north gate. The south gate is located on a low floor, near the gate of the residential area, and Chu Kuang and his son observe the child's situation through the window. He is also relieved. Chu Kuang tugged on the door but could not open it anyway. He asked his wife to open the door but she could not open it. At Chu Kuang's house, his wife saw the flood water reaching the window, so she put her niece on the sofa, blocked the south door with blankets and pillows, along with her daughter-in-law and 11-year-old grandson. The flood was getting bigger and bigger, many vehicles upstream were washed away one by one. Another resident in the area went to check the car bought last year, the water was already flooded to the roof, so he could only helplessly stand on the roof. Another elderly resident, when the flood returned, saw his son's taxi washed away by the water and waded through the water to find it. If the water level gets deeper and deeper, he can't stand watching his family unable to get out. He and his son ran to the stairs of the north gate waded through the rushing flood on the road, found a shovel in the corner of the hallway, and they were about to smash the small door on the north side to save everyone in the house. After nearly 20 minutes, the water level finally dropped, Chu Kuang breathed a sigh of relief. 
He told Trinquan News that although he is in the worst affected area, what touched him was that while the people were actively saving themselves, the leaders of the cadres of the Qudong Neighborhood Committee is busy from morning to night, setting an example, rushing to the front and clearing the pipeline. Ladies and gentlemen, heavy rains have also caused landslides and rock falls, causing congestion at Cautrio International Border Gate. Many trucks and coaches traveling from Vientiane on to Vietnam along the route through Cautrio International Border Gate were blocked by heavy rain, causing landslides in Dat Pass, in Pali Kamsay Province, Laos. Until last night, the only route from Laos to Cautrio International Border Gate, Wangsan District, Hardin Province was still congested due to heavy rain causing landslides. Some trucks and tractors were swept away by the flood and could not be lifted. According to the drivers on the way to Ngian, Hardin, in the past few days, there have been heavy rains, especially in the morning. Very heavy rain caused landslides and rocks in Dat Pass. In Pali Kamk Selau province, some cars swept away by floods, many cars were buried by rocks. Currently, many vehicles from Laos to Vietnam and from Hanoi and Gian Harden. To Laos are congested on the road in Laos, about 60 kilometers from Cao Trio Border Gate. Currently, Cao Trio International Border Gate Border Guard Station has announced traffic jams for garages, drivers and people. Accordingly, when vehicles and people go to Laos or to Vietnam, they can avoid the above landslide by following the road through Chalo Border Gate, Quang Bin. Heavy rain spilled soil, rocks, and forest trees, burying the truck on the way back to Vietnam. The container truck was swept away by the flood. The road from Laos to Cao Trio International Border Gate is congested. Our newsletter for today is here to end, please leave any feedback below in the comments. If you find it interesting, give us a like, comment, share and press the bell to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and see you soon. The recent information concludes our news bulletin. Thank you all for your attention and viewership. Please like, subscribe and click the notification bell to receive the fastest and most accurate news update from 22 hours channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next video.